We developed during the last year several um, gadgets, which comes beside to the motors, which gives, uh, for example, a quicker de uh, deployment situation. So, in former times, it was necessary to to set up the motor, which takes one minute, and then aim it, which takes roughly whatever. It depends on the on the on the on the on the soldiers itself, but it takes roughly ten minutes. What we now made was. We, we developed a digital aiming system which allows that the time for that you, when you build up the motor, at the same moment you know already in which direction that's going. So you are then saving those eight minutes and those are the small steps which at the end are, of the day gives you shoot and scoot capability and stuff like that. The CAM itself is an is a digital aiming system for a commando motor. This is an initiative we took based on the experience we have from our, the commando motor is hand fired. That means either you're coming, the first hit probability is very hard when you don't train that much. But training is, is several times, is of course required, but not, it's not always possible for the troops during, um, during peace time that they have those firings available, firing ranges and so on. So we went then, let's say in our heads, then it grew up, how can we support the first hit probability? And this led then to have a digital um, aiming system on a 61, it's an add-on, it can be added to each motor worldwide as long as the, 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 the connection fits. And it's giving you, it supports you in, in the following directions. First, the biggest, disadvantage of the commando motor is that you have a line of sight. That means you see the enemy, but the enemy sees you as well. So with that, um, with that um, digital uh, aiming system, you can stay behind cover and somebody can be um, on an observer point and having there his laser range finder and targeting a target. That information will be given to an app. This app is connected to the motor and with our firing tables, which are as well integrated, it gives you something like, um, like on any mobile device or whatever, you have then the possibility to arm with that weapon. Currently as well, developing it for bringing it on a 120, because the principle is different here. The principle here, there is a gyro in it, and this gyro gives you always the coordinates in which direction it's looking. And what we said, um, that it can be integrated into a battlefield management system. It gives you data in which direction the motor, the barrel itself is looking. And as I said before, you will not have those um, laying times, which roughly takes up to 10 minutes. That's a big advantage. But the other one is as well, that you can integrate the battlefield management system and that from any commander point, he's giving the direction. And the only thing what you need to do, it's still, the motor is still a, a manual uh, turning motor. So you have all those hand wheels. The only thing what you need to do, you're getting your coordinates based on the firing table, which is integrated in a battlefield management, and you bring that then, only the weapon, into that position. You have the possibility to bring it into that it gives you commands like, and now fire, and now having as well multiple round um, impact and stuff like that.